Hey, what's up? Dave Watts with Winwall Tennis here, and today we're gonna talk about the gap in doubles. So, the gap is basically, if you can look at my really artistic stick figure drawings, obviously none of them are holding a racket because that would have taken too long to draw, but let's just say this side is the serving side and this side is the returning side. Okay, the gap is gonna indicate this area here between the two players, okay, that the volleyer is looking to play the ball into. So, in theory, as this player serves to the returner here, the volleyer is hoping for a weak reply and is looking to play this ball somewhere into this gap in between the two players. That's the highest percentage play that you can do in doubles. I usually tell a lot of my players to just aim right here at this tee. Now, in turn, the best thing for this player to do is to slide over and try and cover this tee early in the point. So I like for the setup for this player originally when the server is serving to be pinching the middle way more in this area here, okay? So now they're set up to cover the tee. And so as the server serves to the returner here, this, and, and if the returner gets the ball to this volleyer, this person can at least make a play on the gap. And now you make the volleyer try and hit an angle, a sharper angle here, which is a much lower percentage shot uh, for the volleyer to hit. Now, as this player here, okay, it, it sees that the returner has played the ball back here to the baseline server, then this player can then come forward now, okay? Let me get this off. So this player can come forward and they can move from this position, okay, all the way back to here. And so this person is basically gonna be bouncing from this spot to this spot, depending on where this player plays the ball. If the ball's played to the volleyer, you gotta cover the tee. If the ball's played back to the baseline player, you're gonna come and play right here in the center and then look actually to pick off the server's next ball and play to the gap this way. So anyway, that is the gap in doubles and that is a little bit about how the net player moves from defense covering the gap to offense, which is trying to find a ball to pick off to play to the gap. So anyway, that's the gap in doubles, and I'm Dave Watts with Win Wild Tennis. Hey, thanks for watching the videos. I'm Dave Watts with Win Wild Tennis, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel for lots more videos. Uh, leave questions or comments below. We always appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot, and win well.